Civilization, World of Warcraft. Oh uh, yeah, let's make a World of Warcraft. Uh, it should shouldn't take more than two hours, right? Warcraft. Hello everyone. So I was brainstorming and I think I will try to make the tutorial and make the Pong game. So it's a very simple game, but hopefully it would not take too much time to make. So I'm going to make it in uh, Unreal Engine and um, I think you all know how to play Pong game. It's such a popular game, so I do not need to explain. So I have Unreal open, I selected, I should select the type of the project I like to have, C++, and let's call it Pong, probably I'll do it UE4 so I would not be confused, and uh, I think I just press create project, it takes time to open, Unreal Engine is not very fast. But I'm going to edit everything, so it's going to be fine. Okay, so and it's of course starting Visual Studio and all other things and my PC is spinning like crazy. Okay, so we have new project here and, um, and basically we have a level and we can already play here so what i'm going to do probably i'll put a camera here and we'll see what would happen camera so i can just put the camera here right and um, now let's see how it's gonna behave no nope. it did not do anything so the thing is we have uh game mode base and we have default pawn so first what i want to do probably create a create a new game mode base create game mode base blueprint okay so game mode blueprint okay and as soon as we created game mode blueprint i don't think i need everything else so this is like a, a level and uh, in game you everything like even like a, a menu screen it's it's like a separate level in the engine so this level i want to be a game play level right so and uh, it doesn't have this game pong game does not have too many levels it has basically one level so i'm going to save this thing save this level right save save current level and i'm going to call it gameplay so, okay so we have game mode blueprint in this case we can assign different pawns so it's set default pawn and i can just for now assign the pawn let's play so as you can see i cannot move my pawn anymore but is camera attached to it or not i'm not sure i'm going to point camera down and see if camera would do anything no it doesn't do anything i'm wondering why unreal engine is kind of um you know what is, what i can do right um so let me delete camera so we have this one uh, where player is going to spawn, right? And I think player is going to be cameras. I'm going to do... I'm going to uh, create here, right? I'm going to create pawn. I'm going to call it probably player blueprint. So and here I'm going to add camera component. So we have player and uh, we have camera component right so every time then we start the level it will spawn the player blueprint with camera component on it and hopefully you would be able to see things yeah nice so what 
next what next I'm going to do I'm going to take this player start and just rotate it downwards okay so hopefully I would be able to see the bottom I'm not seeing it so rotation didn't work no big deal I'm going to rotate camera here 90 degrees down kapow here we go look at this look at this beauty I'm going to create another uh, I'm going to create um, the ball class right C++ class and um, that can be possessed I think I just need to have actor and it's going to be ball ball create class okay so it's it's opened uh, visual studio and it's uh, totally fine you can um, use visual studio i'm not liking to use visual studio so um, i'm going to close it and open emacs give me a second we have pong and um, it is a source here right ball i'm going to delete this uh, copyright notice and all these commands like them and i'm going to clang format it uh, there is a one thing this thing has to be always last one so um, when i'm doing clang format of the code i just put the space and it does not uh, do things otherwise it will order uh, includes uh, alphabet and um, alphabetical order which i kind of like so this is cpp code i'm going to remove also these commands and uh, rank line format for um, for the code to compile everything uh, i'm going to steal compilation things from uh, my uh, fps game so it's this line but i need to modify it first and probably i'll uh, write a readme here md um, and i'll just plop it here but i need to modify it slightly it's going to be on development project on eu4 uh, on eu4 so we should make the trick so i'm going to put this compilation flags a uh, compilation command here and it's indeed it is compiling and you can hear ding uh, it means it's compiled successfully so i have a uh, ball here so first of all i want to add the uh, sh shape on this thing and to do this thing i also going to look at my COVID game because i do not remember so to do this thing basically i need to add um, uh, property I think it was in UI somewhere yeah gameplay UI uh, not this UI I have multiple um, level selection yeah here we go this is um, recently down the then I was doing this project I found uh, uh, this way to adding things and basically you just need to um, add this um, this line is it says bind which it's not component probably because it's for widgets i'm just wondering would it work for components so let me quickly google for this thing bind components components i don't think it's what's gonna work unfortunately bind widget if bind widget yeah uh, let's me see you property probably we will we, we may have like a, some list of methods so meta key value key value bit mask bit flags bit mask bit mask and no meta tags class allow preserve ratio array clamp asset bundles blueprint base Clamp min, clamp max. Actually, it doesn't have uh, bind, right? 
He doesn't have bind, huh? Uh, how to make components work as a widget? Find which. That's fine, I think I just can do a traditional way. U static mesh and it's going to be mesh blueprint read only. How we do is in your property mesh U static mesh component component call it mesh and just U property edit everywhere and then I'll uh, in the constructor I'll call it I'll create a mesh I don't think I need to do this thing. I'll just attach probably, it should be fine. No, I think I need to do this thing. No, 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 no. I just need to call set root component, set root component mesh. So mesh would become a root component now. So I'm compiling this thing. I'll call it mesh instead of mesh. So it's made a din. So now, the common practice is, uh, so you created a C++ class, which called ball, right? And then, so it's in the, this um, folder, C++ classes. So I go to content and here I create the blueprint class, which is derived from the C++ class. So here we go and I'm going to call it uh, ball BP. I don't like uh, prefix, suffix, um, system on Unity, um, Unreal Engine, <laughs> uh, but uh, it's kind of like this. So we have mesh here and um, I'm just going to assign uh, some sphere mesh. Yeah, well, let's call it editor sphere here. Where is it? It's here. So it's a little bit big, I think, but I think it's fine. So I'm going to save and now we can plot this yet yeah, a little bit big um, mesh on the scene. And I think uh, I can uh, make it move and I'm going to make it in, the, in here. So it will have direction, uh, where, uh, which direction is moving, right? So I'm going to call dir, dir. It will move on X and Y, not on Z. Probably I will initialize it on X and Y, not on Z. We have tick function here and on tick I would get actor relative location. I think I can uh, just uh, try to compile and see if it compiles. Mm, get actor location. Yeah, so get actor location and then I will update location uh, by uh, direction times delta time, right? And then set to location, location, something like this. So it will make it move. Let's try it out. So and as we can see, it's moving, but the speed is uh, oh, one centimeter one centimeter per second, right? Um, let's, I think I will um, add the coefficient here and I'll just probably hard code it here. So let's make it 10 times faster. Yeah, it's moving, but still slow. So let's make it uh, 20 times faster. Oh yeah, still slow, 40 times faster. So here's it, I'm doing like a binary search. So I'm doubling every time. So it's still a little bit slow. 80 times. I'm more or less happy with this thing. Okay. Now I want to make it smaller. We have mesh and I'll just make it 10 times smaller. Here we go. Probably I should move it higher. Yeah. So now I want to make it bounce. To make it bounce, let me just hard code it. I'm just, I'm just lazy, you know. I'm going just to hard code things. So it's a 440 
this is for 40 this is uh, for 40 and this one is for 40 it's perfect okay if location dot x greater than 440 direction dot x will become so if, it, if it's greater than 440 we need to we subtract if it's less than 440 oops we need to add so i'm going to do same thing for y y y y y okay so it will start bouncing i think if i can do things to compile sorry for noise it's my air conditioning i'm not living alone and people just hmm location oh my god dear 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 hmm direction greater less greater less okay probably i want to make it faster let's make it faster and also i don't know i'll put it somewhere here and make it twice faster dude why it's so slow pretty too oh yeah that feels way better i'm not sure so yellow one it's a uh, uh it's a y right so y 777 and it says i need to rebuild lights because this object is static and i'll just press the build thing and it's going to rebuild it and then the code for y i'm going to do 77 mika said 7777 <laughs> wow let's me i just not sure about terminology right so almost like let's look at the um uh, and create a gameplay points to dimension paddle okay let's it's called paddle right so hmm looks like the angle of the um of the bounce oh yeah so angle of the bounce actually depends of where um, ball hit the paddle that's interesting um, i'm going to create new class which called and it's based on actor and it's going to be paddle paddle class name cannot contain space okay so Oh my god, it's starting Visual Studio for me. No, go away. Okay, um, so it's created a class for me. I'm going to move this compilation screen like here. It doesn't need too much. So source, point and paddle, and I'm going to remove all this stuff. Beautiful. This thing generated has to be a little bit away and uh, I'm going to do mesh thing so I'm just going to copy paste it so this is the mesh thing and and mesh thing here okay now standard thing of what we are doing it's so we have classes here but we go to content so i made the ball blueprint right so i'm going to make paddle blueprint which is derived from paddle paddle select is going to be paddle blueprint and uh, this one also has mesh and i'm going to add the mm -hmm. uh, so for paddle it's probably would be cube id uh, so it's a ball size, right? 
I'm going to scale it on Y. I'm just going to eyeball this size. So this size probably looks good. File save. And I'm going to drop it here. And the thing is I should probably do it on X, not on Y. So 0 0.3 on X. File save. Yeah. And um, it's, it's a little bit small. For some reason, fine. I'm not sure why it's small. So I'm going to double here and double here. Yeah, I think that's better. Let's see. What just happened? Uh, 870, 870, 80. Eight, 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 eight. Yeah, that's bad. The input actually received by the player, which is just a camera. Um, so I think it's fine. I just need to, I just need to attach the. Um, the paddle to this thing and uh, let me see how I solved this thing um, here so I have um, I have virus which knows about the uh, player oh okay so it, everything happens uh, via game state so all communication happens via game state so like virus then virus spawn it's um, it's queries game state so it's no, uh, it's like asking for hero via game state. So let's do same thing. So I'm going to create a C++ class, which is going to be derived from the game state. Uh, game mode, game state. So I'm going to call it, um, Pong game state okay it's also again running Visual Studio which I do not want game state so I'm going to delete all these commands uh, separate it so how game state what I can do, um, so there is a good here and okay. Um, actually, I do not need to know about anything about hero because it's just a camera, so hero has to know about the paddle, for example, right? So, um, so class a paddle. Uh, get paddle. Let's call it uh, player paddle. Um, how they would know is it player paddle or AI paddle? I can assign right. Uh, so it's like oh, it can be property. So paddle. Uh, so it would be player paddle and uh, AI paddle, and it can be. Just property, I guess, uh, like this. In this case, and um, like this, I guess. Oh, that will no pointer. Would not to put like some random things on it. Okay, so. Uh, in the blueprint, I can set game state to uh, on game state, all right. And then in world settings, um, on game state, on game state, kind of open level blueprint. Why? 
let's create this player um, I think I know uh, why player controller is needed right so um, no I do not understand right so basically I need to make um, the player to know about paddle so it would be able to control it so one way is to make paddle to register itself on the game state um, but it feels like a kind of chunky player controller so there is a, a player controller also which I don't think I need because I will already have player I, I do not want to create like a new um, entities and the issue with uh, paddle it's registered itself but it doesn't know about itself what is it is it player paddle or AI paddle how I want to do this thing let's think so one way is make two classes one is uh, and actually yeah I can make two classes and the uh, AI paddle actually would be able to control itself. AI paddle, AI paddle. Um, I'll do it later. So, game state, right? So, paddle. I think doors does this thing, so let's make how I did it on doors. On begin play, game state, okay. So on begin play, bundle, game state equals cast A, and game state. My god, so many noises. A, on, is it, dot, um, if not game state. We log the error, log the error, text game state class has to be all game state return. Otherwise, you can say game state, game state, and um, uh, player panel equals this. Player paddle this. So what I would do next? Um, game state player paddle this. So I have this play um, paddle um, ball would do same thing. I'm basically going to copy paste this thing and put it in the ball. But instead of player paddle, I will say ball. So end of everything should compile at least. Pong play pong game state a pong game state pong state pong game so everything compiles but does nothing for ball on uh, why I can do things now so if not the game state, right? Um, can I do it this way? Game state, return. If there is no game state, we'll do nothing. If no game state. So this one is on the right side, which is what? Um, set which size is AI player else if location x is uh, less than player paddle paddle equals player paddle get actor location paddle dot x less what size is this thing how we can know it's a one right uh, it's a one meter cube probably 0.5 less than 0 0.5 and 
and greater dot x minus 0.5 f it will bounce g dot y equals minus else I mean so I'm thinking exactly the same code is going to happen this thing except player would be AI and sign is going to be here AI kind of here it's not going to compile a kind of use It's not going to compile because I need to in the game state uh, wait 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 player on game state e log log n syntax error yep and the colon is Not a class. Player wins. Player wind. Um. Going. Hmm. That's strange. Start. Yeah, it wins. Should not happen, right? Uh, Oh right, ooh. This one is it's a player paddle, okay. Yeah it wins. Not sure what is happening. Why it's still bouncing? <laughs> Actually it should bounce regardless. Logically, but um, it can just continue to fly. Huh. I'm not sure why it's bouncing. Anyways, um, let's to do controls. So, controls, keyboard controls are like this. Move forward, move. Um, so, what I'm going to do is have like a two things move up and down, right? Yeah. Where's, the, where's the player? The game's open. Huh? I did create a player, right? Oh, um, I did create a player, but it's only blueprint, okay? So I need to create a, a class player, uh, and it's going to be only it's a, it's a pawn. So I need to create a pawn. New C++ class, right from pawn, going to call player. The name player is already used by the what? Oh, player. Huh. Who is? That's interesting. So we have pong player. I'm going to separate this thing, delete all these commands, and clan format. And now I'm going to take this thing, I think. Uh, let's to move right. I just need only one actually. Uh, for a component here, move up, move up, and on clear. And actually, it can be private, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, anyways, I just want to wait, move up. Plot. Even I do not need to do this thing. I, 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 I'm not liking to adding like a meaningless uh, parameter name. It like says move up and takes float. What it's supposed to take? How much it's moving up, right? So, upload area. What it's going to do? I'm going to take a game state right we'll get game state I'm going to cast it to um, a phone game state and uh, game state 
going to return otherwise and if not game state um, player hello return otherwise uh, move up okay. okay so uh hello you have move up Float, move up, float, float, and wait, move equals just like I don't know, um, something like this. And so, um, and then it will move here on every tick, and I'll do same thing what I was doing for ball. So, I'm going to take and set right after location location um and it's on the x uh delta time times move yeah and i would i would do say like if location greater than uh, x i'll just clamp it so uh, this code um should work except i need to um Reparent the uh, the pawn, the player uh, blueprint. Game state pawn game state. Yeah, I need to include game state page location. Okay, now I need to reparent. Uh, where is the? Page? Player blueprint, edit player blueprint, uh, class settings, parent class, player, point save. So now, yeah, I should be able to move this thing, but uh, I need to in project settings, uh, input, uh, it's an axis mapping, move up, keyboard, up. Plus down. Mm -hmm. Movable. Why it's not moving? Do I have any errors? Hmm. Pong player player in component by axis move up. Move up. Log. So it's getting cold on um. Warning phone player, what? Oh, I was going to put it like in, on the gameplay, but anyways, I hmm, that's always zero. Project move up, it's obviously not action mapping, right? It's um, axis mapping, keyboard, hmm, up and down. Why oh, it's not working? Getting spam away. Am I getting spam? The player paddle is not set up. Oh my god. I should click on the screen, I forgot. Eh. What? How come it happened? Ooh. Paddle, right? Um player paddle. Player by the location x so if x less or if uh, location is greater should work right it should miss hmm confusion hmm it's working boom yeah it wins That's strange.
So I'm going to uh, reset location. It's so chunky. I do not understand. It's not bouncing. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Player paddle. Location Y. So I'm checking location X. Location X. Get the paddle location. Uh, hello. Login. Warning. Text. Uh, o. G. Paddle. G. Location X. Paddle. Debugging. What? Why it's like this? Minus ninety. Eighty seven. My brain just doesn't work in um, in centimeters. It's like why you it's like okay that's great it's a metric system but why centimeters let's make AI paddle so what I'm going to do I'm going to create new class and it's going to be derived from Puddle, but I'm going to call it AI Puddle Create Cost. Okay, to close it again, AI Puddle, deleting a bunch of stuff. So on the bottom, I'm going to open Puddle. So it has move up the tick. Um, so I think I would override the tick. Um, override the tick. Not liking this virtual, it's just like a Y. Um, yeah, inside the tick. First of all, it has to register in the begin play. Um, so I need to do begin play. Right? Play. Oh. And uh, oh, I did not put comp colon colon here. I will do a actor begin play. I don't want to call paddle begin play. Guess so I'm going to skip it because I'm going to register AI paddle. Um, looks good. So it's a little bit chunky because um, properly I would make, I would probably should make like a base paddle and then derive from base paddle and make like a, a player paddle and AI paddle. But um, I'm just being lazy and it should be fine, it should work. So it's compiled and um, I'm going to create uh, so this paddle is going to be player. Oh wait, uh, yeah, there is AI paddle. So we we'll go to content and we have paddle BP and it's going to be player paddle. And I'm going to create, derived another one, create another one, um, which would be from AI paddle. And it's going to be AI Paddle BP. And um, I'm going to assign the mesh for this thing, which is the cube. Um, I, can, I can actually add like a different cube probably. Ooh, how big is it? So let's, let's do cube. And uh, let's do 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.2. Mm -hmm. AI Paddle. Yeah, so if I put it here, play. Yeah, so now it's kind of working. And now I have to implement the controls. So 
won't do this thing again. Uh, but I'm not going to print the error. If not game state uh, ball turn. So uh, auto ball equals ball. Wait, game state ball. Um, get to location. A ball location equals get up location. If location uh, x greater than location uh, ball location, we should go up, which is um, uh, move up one, else move up minus one. Boop. Should make a tree, include the ball, get a door location. Ball location. Okay. Uh, this thing is not moving. Oh wait. Oh, how it did not crash. Super tick delta. Oof. Oh my God! Look at this. Hmm. Why it's doing this thing? And Chucky. I'm not sure why it's doing this thing. Just like goes up all the time. Huh. So if location X greater than ball location X, we move up. Hmm. I'm not sure. What the frick? What? Oh, I forgot to update this. Eh? Uh, but why? Why movement is kind of key? I do not know. Anyways, this is the thing. <laughs> I don't want to do any anything anything more. Anyways, and um, I think I will uh, stop the stream. Mika yelled, and Streamlabs said, "Don't forget to follow and join my Discord server." HTTPS link. Boop. Bye.